Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this broom parking sign or witch's broom parking sign out of just a couple items from Lowe's and the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first thing I did was I painted my board. I bought one of those um, six foot, I want to say it was ready to paint boards or something like that. I can't remember, but it's it was six dollars, so it's like a dollar a foot. And I had them cut it down into thirds. And then I bought some orange spray paint that was on clearance from Lowe's and I spray painted the board orange. Um, I don't have time to sit there and use the brush and do all the painting with the matte stuff. Uh -uh. I just used some good old spray paint and it dried in no time. And then I went to my Cricut Maker and cut out the letters on some self-adhesive vinyl. Um, if you don't have a Cricut or whatever, you could actually use the self-adhesive stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, I picked a font that I had on an, car on an old cartridge from one of my old Cricut machines and I uploaded it to Cricut Design Space and I used it. It was a Halloween cartridge. So that's why the letters look a little sort of spooky kind of looking or whatever. But again, if you don't have access to that, then just use the self-adhesive letters from Dollar Tree. I also printed in a different but smaller font, um, violators will be cursed. I was mimicking, you know, a sign that you would see every day in a parking lot at some company somewhere. So, um, that's what I'm applying here. I know you can use transfer tape and all that stuff, but honey, I don't have time for it. And it, you gotta, you know, rub it in and all that where I could just peel and stick. <laughs> So anyway, here are those um, witch hat wooden cutouts that Dollar Tree had this year. And I was just um, placing them on to see, you know, how much spacing I needed to kind of account for and all that good stuff. What I did was I took some good old black spray paint again and I spray painted these. And right now I'm just writing the names of the employees, if you will, on the hats. We have Agatha, Jennifer, um mabel and zelda so i just google the names honey and i'm using the paint pens that dollar tree sells to write the names right here i'm just embellishing the hats a little bit more i'm just using some mod podge again you can find this at dollar tree and some glitter and you can also find glitter at dollar tree i'm just using different colors um just to embellish, you could use fabric or um, buttons, rhinestones, whatever you want to use. Um, if you choose to embellish, you can leave them plain if you want to. It's totally up to you. I just give you the roadmap and it's up to you to go in whatever direction you want to go in. So I just wanted to add a little more sparkle to my sign and uh personalize it i guess a little bit more so that's why i'm adding the glitter and it was fun this was one of those fun projects that i love to make and um this would be great for a last minute diy if you're having a halloween party or whatever because you can get these pieces of, or get the wood cut for you at lowe's bring it spray paint it and you know that's it pretty much you know just go ahead and pick up a couple packs of those um cutouts and go to work these are some table legs that i actually picked up from lowe's um from their little wooden section or whatever they have all kinds of dowels and things like that you can use i just chose these and so right here i'm just watering down some brown paint spray brown paint <laughs> to create um a little stain because the wood was a little too light for my liking and I wanted it to look a little aged and worn and so once that paint absorbs into that um, unfinished wood it looks really old and kind of creepy looking and the more I use it each year the older it'll get you know or start to look so that's why I'm doing this and right here I'm just measuring I think two inches from the bottom of the sign um, in attaching my witch hats um, i'm using gorilla hot glue so they're not going to go anywhere but if you want to use um e6000 or something you know like an 
industrial adhesive if you will adhesive if you will you can you know definitely do that but i'm just using this gorilla hot glue so i'm not worried about it going anywhere and again it's two inches from the bottom and i think it was a inch and a half from the sides i just wanted to make sure everything was even and centered and right here i'm gonna take a sharpie and sort of color the top of the screw that's on that leg to kind of mark where i need to drill you don't have to get the little table legs with the screw you can actually just get a flat piece of dowel or whatever and just glue it down but i just since i picked those up i just went ahead and used them in my dremel tool to make the hole and i'm just reinforcing it with the little um e6000 and hot glue making sure it won't come out and it held really really nicely i'm already using the sign so they're holding up really really good and that's it so what we're gonna do now is embellish the brooms we're gonna create our little um, Mercedes-Benz broom right here this is for the CEO of the company y'all <laughs> she's got to have the best car so I'm just adding a little bling um, this is like the diamond wrap from Dollar Tree and then this that I'm going over top of the diamond wrap with I got that from like a local craft store it's just a little scrap piece I had left and I'm gonna add a little bit of um, glitter to the little wire that holds the broom together um, just to take that sort of industrial look off of it. I'm using, again, some more Mod Podge and I'm gonna sprinkle some black glitter on top of that. And then I didn't film this part, but I actually sprayed the glitter with some glitter sealant to keep the glitter from falling off and I did the same thing with the hats but I didn't film that but just to let y'all know that's what I did or if you don't have any spray you can use um, some Mod Podge right here I'm creating the car emblems um, to go on the brooms if you will so right here I'm making the Mercedes symbol for this last broom that we did and I'm gonna create uh, three more as you'll see and again this is the paint pen from Dollar Tree they work really nicely so if you see those pens by Jot pick them up honey because they work really good and what I made the emblems out of are some little wooden rounds that I had in my craft stash but if you don't have any you could you definitely use some card cardboard or cardstock and create them that way i just painted them black or you can use black cardboard or whatever this is the toyota symbol i uh googled them and sort of kind of freehanded them from what i saw online the next one we're creating is ford you know we got to have an american car in there you know i'm team german all the way but we got to have an american car in there so <laughs> we've got um a ford so i'm just creating the ford symbol to put on one of my brooms and there we go and then the last one which is mabel's busted up old cadillac if you will i'm taking these this sticker sheet that i got on clearance from dollar tree last year and i'm gonna cut out um one of these little bat circles here and use that as my symbol um so she's kind of got the little busted old ready little broom if you will <laughs> So that's what I'm doing, creating her symbol. Um, and I'm taking my inspiration for Mabel from Tyler Perry's Medea movies. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've attached the Mercedes symbol to the Mercedes Benz broom, if you will. And then we're going to attach the Toyota symbol to the Toyota broom <laughs> right here. Oh, and I'm using the, um, again, um, gorilla hot glue to do that and here comes our Ford so we're gonna attach the Ford symbol and then last but not least here comes Mabel in her Cadillac her old Cadillac <laughs> and we're attaching the little bat symbol to that or whatever you want it to be 
Um, and that's it. So now we're gonna add the hanger to the back of the sign. You can use a picture hanger or some picture hangers because you're gonna need more than one for this because it has a little weight to it. But I'm just using some rope that I got on clearance from Michaels a few years back. And I'm gonna attach it with some E6000. I'm gonna put that down first and lay the rope inside of it or on top of it and press it down. And then I'm gonna go over the top with the, um, Gorilla Hot Glue and that combination worked really really nicely y'all It is holding up really good because this wood does have some weight and then when you add the brooms to it It kind of has you know Gets heavy So that Gorilla Glue and that combination of E6000 worked really nicely I just made sure I let it dry overnight and here's what we have This is on my front porch right now and I love how it looks in that picture and there are you know brooms and I am so loving how it looked there, but then I hung it on the side by my garage next to Mr. Scarecrow who's posing in the picture and it looks fantastic. So thanks for watching y'all and if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.